we exalt your holy name, we give you praise, we give you glory. I appreciate God in your words. Say something powerful unto him. He deserves it all. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Father, we exalt your holy name tonight. The Bible says, Unto you shall be the guardian of your people. We well, thank you for another privilege to gather at your feet. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Receive all the praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that tonight you move in your own way in the name of Jesus. Do great and mighty things, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everybody here in that in this service, God will encounter your life in the name of Jesus. As many who are connected tonight, I pray that God will visit your case in the name of Jesus. The theme of tonight's program is Divine Rescue. I pray for somebody hearing me from every situation that seems to have a divine solution. Tonight, God will rescue you. God will rescue you in the name of Jesus from every matter that seems overwhelming to you. Tonight, God will rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is your night of rescue in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Every power playing Lord over your life. I need to pray this for somebody. Every power praying. Pray, uh, pray, pray as Lord over your life. Any power acting as God over your destiny, tonight let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything exacting ungodly weight upon your life, tonight let them be lifted. In the name of Jesus. I want to please pray the following prayer loud and clear before we go into the world. Say, powers sponsoring affliction in my life, die. In the name of Jesus, powers sponsoring affliction in my life, die, 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 die. Die, die, in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. Power, sponsoring affliction in my life. I command you to die. I command you to die. I command you to die. In the name of Jesus. Power, sponsoring affliction in my life. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say powers assigned to render me useless. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power assigned to render me useless. Die, 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Powers assigned to render me useless. I command you to die. I command you to die. I command you to die. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to die. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say satanic gang on. Assigned to disgrace me. Scattered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic gang on. Assigned to disgrace me, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satanic gang up. Assigned to disgrace me, I command you to scatter. I command you to scatter. In the name of Jesus, I command you to scatter. Command them to scatter tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satanic gang up. Assigned to disgrace me, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you in the name of every other name. Every evil gang up against your life. Let them scatter by fire. Let them scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of disgrace and embarrassment that the enemy has planned against you, let the Lord cancel it. Let God cancel it. In the name of Jesus, any part that wants to embarrass you, remain this this year. Let that part be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any part that wants to be wasted in your productive years, Somebody needs to say loud amen to this one. Let God bury that power. Let God bury that power. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that in this meeting, oh God, rescue your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many in any sin are very, very overwhelming, as many going through situations that is too much for them, oh Lord, by your mighty hand tonight, let them be rescued. Let them be rescued. As many crying in the secret, oh Lord, tonight, stretch out your hand of rescue. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. You are welcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The theme of our program tonight is divine rescue. Divine rescue. And I pray for somebody that tonight God will send the hand of rescue to you. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that has been so overwhelming in your life either at all. Tonight the hand of God will rescue you. In the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 5. That's our text for tonight. Mark chapter 5. Very quickly, please. Hallelujah. It's a long read. I'll try to make it very, very quick. Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 5. I'll read it from verse 1. And they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the gatherings. And when he had come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. 
and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Look at that kind of situation. Now, verse 4. Because that he had often been bound with fetters and chain, and the chain had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. 5. And always day and night he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself. Hallelujah. What a very bad state to be. Cutting himself is told. When he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by the God that thou tormentest me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. I pray for somebody tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Anything contrary residing in your life, whatsoever that is hiding in any corner of your life, let them come out by fire. Let them come out by fire. In the name of Jesus, Bible says, as soon as they hear me, they shall obey me and submit themselves unto me. The strangers are fade away and run out of their hiding places. Every stranger in your life, by the power in the name of Jesus, let them come out tonight. Let them come out tonight. In the name of Jesus. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Nine. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. For we are many. Ten. And he besought him much that he would not send them away from that country. Now there was down near the place unto the mountain a great head of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter there. 13. And for the portraits, Jesus Christ gave them leave. And the unclean spirit went out and entered into the swine. And the head ran violently down the steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. 14. And they, they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they came out and see what had happened. 15. And they came to Jesus. And seeing him that was possessed with the devil, and had the legion sitting and clothed, and in his right mind, hallelujah, they were afraid. They were afraid. 16. And they saw that, and, and they saw, and they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him, please depart our coast. 18. And when he was coming to his sheep, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Albeit, this Christ suffered him not, but said to him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee and had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him and all men. May the Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. In the brevity of our time, I'll be sharing with you once again. The, you know, a short sermon titled the divine rescue. You know, um, something caught my attention. That man said he was, a, you know, we are lead pigeon. Hallelujah. In the British Army, a thousand is a battalion, and in the a brigade is five thousand. But in the Roman Army, a legion is six thousand. So imagine that. So this man had six thousand demons, unclean spirits dwelling inside of one man. No wonder nobody could bind him. I says they entered into him. Hallelujah. And see what happened. By the time Christ gave them leave, they went into the swine. The capacity was too much for the swine to bear. They had to run violently down the steep and they perished in water. See how, how bad that can be for a man. We're not told how long this man had been carrying this nigger about, but we're told that 6,000 demons were inside of this man. Somebody under the sound of my voice, any unpleasant situation that you are going through, tonight God will rescue you. God will rescue you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, our scripture, you know, our text presents was the story of a man who went from an extreme negative situation to, you know, the other extreme, but this time a positive one. You know, the story is a reflection of how God can turn a very hopeless situation, you know, to be, you know, to can turn it around and make it a very palatable one. This madman, you know, was, was, was told that he's among the tomb, but he was not born there. What took him there, we do not know. Praise the Lord. All we're told is that this man was dwelling in the tomb. No, nobody, you know, just suddenly finds himself in the tomb. Something was, must have happened. He was born among human beings. He had family. He was not born in the tomb. He was not raised in the tomb. But all we know that he ended there. That's what the Bible says. He ended there. The reason why he ended there, we're not told. But one thing we know was that the intention was whoever took him there was to isolate him and destroy him eventually. Hallelujah. Because nobody, nobody in their right frame of mind would, you know, want to stay, you know, by, by the tomb. He was not born there. He was not raised there. He had family. We're not told of, you know, who his family was. We're not told, you know, how his background was. But for all we know was that a situation happened in his life 
and that kept him in the tomb. I pray for somebody hearing me. Any part that wants to put you where God does not put you, let that part be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for somebody. Any power afflicting your destiny, making you to be what God has not made you to be, let that power release you tonight and let that power die in the mighty name of Jesus. So we were told that this man was dwelling in the tomb. Hallelujah. We we're not told the background story, uh, but so all we can, you know, um, assume it's really somebody's child or somebody's son. Amen. It might even be somebody's husband. Amen. It might even be somebody's father. But a, a situation happened, and the next thing we're told is that he was in the tomb. The reason we're not told, but this man was there, and you know, he was. He found himself in a situation where he, he could not help himself. Have you ever been in that kind of, you know, matter where you can't help yourself? You know, all, all hope seems to be lost. You know, he was kept away from his family. He was homeless. You know, he had no place to, to, to go. And, you know, the worst of all was that he was sleeping in the tomb. Nobody sleeps in the tomb. Praise the Lord. And Bible said he had also been bound with chains and fetters. He broke them. This was the extreme case of this man. He had been bound many times. The, the level of, um, you know, insanity he exhibited because of the legion dwelling inside of him was so much that even chains, physical chains cannot bind him. That's how powerful demons can be. I'm praying for somebody tonight. Any part that wants to make you what God has not made you, that part will be buried tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That part will be buried tonight in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they have tried to curtail this man. They could not curtail him. Hallelujah. That was how bad the problem is. They've tried to curtail him many times, tried to hold him down. He could not be tamed. He could not be tamed by any man. Hallelujah. And, you know, for whatsoever reason he was kept there, we know it's one agenda. Is for him to be destroyed. See what demons can do. Because imagine when Christ gave them leave, they went into those swine and they ran down. So imagine a man that was, uh, you know, warehousing as it were, 2,000 demons. And there are people today who are going through different kind of situation. They might not, their own case might not be 6,000 demons, hallelujah, but there are people going through a matter that's so much for them. This man found himself in a situation whereby he can't help himself. He was totally helpless without any hope of turnaround, without any hope of rescue, but something happened one day. The Bible says the master showed up for this man, and for that singular reason, everything turned around his life. I'm praying for somebody tonight. God will show up for you. God will show up for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your life will turn around. In the name of Jesus, every matter acting crazy in your life, tonight there will be a turnaround. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight God will show you favor. God will show you favor in the name of Jesus. See, the enemy of this man did not put him in a good place. He put him in the tomb. Mark 5, 3 says, who had his dwelling among the tombs and no one could bind him, not even with chains. Nobody lives in the graveyard. I mean, for some of the people who live in the graveyard, they must have lost it. But the enemy kept this guy in the grave. Because in every civilization, there's always a fairy tale to say about the grave. But from my country, Nigeria, you know, when you see a graveyard, so you want to walk past very, very quickly. No, nobody, you know, nobody stays around grave. But this man ended in the grave. People don't live in the grave. Enemy made him homeless and kept him in the grave. He was there perpetually. They made him to dwell among the dead. He could not make contact. He had no connection. Of course, dead men don't talk. Dead men don't move. Dead men don't give. They don't receive. Dead men don't help. They just stay there. And so this man's life, you see that it was static. Nothing was moving. Everything was static because it was kept among the dead. I pray for somebody. Any part that wants to keep you in a negative isolation, because that was what they did to this man. That was what they did to him. They kept him in a negative isolation. Hallelujah. I pray for you. If your amen can roar loud, any part that wants to put you in a negative isolation, from that power, let God rescue you. Let God rescue you. Let God rescue you. In the name of Jesus. He was kept in negative isolation among the dead. What a static life. No movement, no achievement, no progress. Dead men don't speak. Dead men don't move. Dead men don't give. They don't receive. They can't make you laugh. You'll be bored. I pray for you once again. Every activity of deadness in your life, tonight, let it turn around. Let it turn around. Let God turn it around in the name of Jesus. It's amazing. Some people, everything about their life is perfect. You can sense the deadness. Nothing seems to be working. That's what happened to this man. He was there. Nothing seems to be working until rescue came. I pray for somebody. 
I don't care how long you've been in that matter, but tonight God will rescue you. Oh, God will rescue you. I said, God will rescue you in, in the name of Jesus. And when, you know, people are among the dead, nothing really, really, you know, um, there's nothing to show for. Hallelujah. Nothing to show for. When you connect yourself with people that are dead, though they are living, but they are living dead, your life does not move forward. They can't give you, you can't give them. In fact, they frustrate your life. And you wonder why they are like that. They are disconnected. Like this man in this scripture. No one can try living among those that are dead. In fact, dead people, the exact dead load upon you. In my industry, something called dead load and impost load. Hallelujah. When you are building a house or doing a construction, you know, a, a dead load is a self-weight of the structure, while impost load is you know, things like furniture, tables, chairs. Those are imposed loads. But these dead people, they put dead load on you. They weigh you down. And nothing really, really happens when you are with the dead. One cannot try when you are with, among the dead. They are among men like this. You don't try. You don't go forward. You can't try. You can't fly. You can't reach where God wants to be. The tomb, beloved, is a seat of sadness. A terrible place. Sometimes very, very terrifying. When people are demon possessed, their frustration can be very, very strange. The kind of part the exhibit can be very crazy. And that's what we see in this man. That's what we see in this man. He had an uncommon crazy strength that change could not find him. And so the enemy of his destiny kept him in a place of perpetual negative isolation. That you will not I mean, who goes to go and live in the grave? And to all the intent and purpose, the Bible says nobody could tame him. Meaning that even help was far from him. Hallelujah. People are possessed, they exhibit crazy strengths. The tomb is a place of separation, a place of complete isolation. And this man was separated from people, completely separated from love. In every culture, grave or graveyard is believed to be a place of demonic infestation. Many people fear the graveyard, but this man chose to, to have his own apartment in the graveyard. There are many people who love living in the graveyard of life. There are people living in the graveyard of life. Their matter has so much overwhelmed them that it's even beginning to bury them. There are people whom their challenges have become a grave for them. The, the, the problem has so much dug a ground for them and buried them into it. But I pray for you tonight. As many in that situation, you are coming out. I say you are coming out in the, the name of Jesus. Every abnormal matter in your life, God will correct it. God will correct it in the name of Jesus. Everything abnormal in your life, Tonight, the Lord God will correct it. God will correct it in the name of Jesus. And so this man was there, a place of isolation. Every day and night in agony, the Bible says he kept shouting day and night, day and night, separated from family, from friends, from love, from, from rescue. There was no hope of turn around. I pray for you. Anything caught hopeless in your life, tonight God will turn it around. God will turn it around in the name of Jesus. For all we know, Bible says 6,000 demons dwells in this man. Beloved, how can a man under that demonic, you know, invasion, if I can use that word, come out? How can a man under that situation come out of the matter, except the Lord God of heaven helps him? Can you please open your mouth and pray this one loud and clear? Hear me. There are people going through things. If God does not come for their rescue, they will truly go to their grave like that. But I pray for somebody again. If your amen can roar loud, anything that has planned to kill you, tonight God will turn it around. In the name of Jesus, I say God will turn it around. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that loud and clear. Say, habitation of darkness in my soul, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, habitation of darkness in my soul, scatter, scatter, scatter. In the name of Jesus, every habitation of darkness in my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, command it to scatter. In the name of Jesus, habitation of wickedness in my life, scatter, 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 scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus, habitation of wickedness in my life, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, thou hand of the wicked in my life. Wither by fire in the name of Jesus. Thou hand of the wicked, wither, 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 wither. In the name of Jesus, command them to wither tonight. Every hand of the wicked in my life, wither by fire, 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 wither by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. It was in this terrible situation the man found himself. Mark 5, verse 4 says, 
because he had often been bound with shackles and chains and the chains had been pulled apart by him look at that and the shackles broken in pieces neither could any man tame him night and day he would cry out to people he would cry out people would hear him he was isolated in the graveyard in that island he was there alone. don't forget it was by the side of the sea the bible says and he would cry out every time day and night he was shouting help help nobody was coming to his rescue he was in agony I mean, who breaks a chain? Or who goes near a man that breaks chain? A man that was bound with chain, not with rope, not with leaf. I would say he breaks it. Who goes near a man that breaks chain like fetters and fetters? A man that keeps self arming from morning to night. I he takes stones and cuts himself. Who goes to that kind of a man? They were seeing him, but they could not go near him. That's another dimension of battle. They were seeing him, they could not go near. I mean, who goes to that kind of a man? If God does not really send you there, you will truly regret it. Such a man, if God does not send you to him and you go there, believe me, you will truly regret it. In fact, your matter will make news the following day. A man that breaks in, that caught himself, if, God, if you don't go there by conviction and by the power of God, you will regret it when there. And so he was there in agony. He was shouting, Help! Help! They could hear him shouting. But those that could help him, they feared him. They couldn't go to him. I pray for you. Every battle sending help pass away from you. Somebody needs to write loud enough to this one. Every battle sending away your helper. Let that battle scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every battle making helpers to run away from you. Oh, somebody needs to cry loud enough to this one. Every battle making helpers to run from you. Let that battle scatter. Let that battle scatter. Let that battle scatter. In the name of Jesus. Battle that make men to see that you need help. They see that you need help, but they don't come near to help you. It's a dimension of battle. I pray for you. Sort battle in your life. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray loud and clear. Say every power acting as God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Every power acting as God in my life. Da, 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 da. In the name of Jesus, every power acting as God in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say every battle behaving like God over my life be terminated. In the name of Jesus, every battle behaving like God over my life be terminated. Be terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Battles behaving as God over my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say, powers holding me down where I don't belong, release me and let me go in the name of Jesus. Every power holding me down where I don't belong, lose me, let me go, lose me, let me go, lose me, let me go. Open my prayer very, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every power holding me down where I don't belong, lose me and let me go. Lose me and let me go. Lose me and let me go. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The powers are starting to recreate my destiny. That, in the mighty name of Jesus, every power are starting to recreate my destiny. That, 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 that. Command them to die. In the name of Jesus, every power are starting to recreate my destiny. That, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. People fear him. No one could go near him. You know, people will fear what they don't understand. Oh, yes. In fact, fear is a product of what you know or what you don't know. Hallelujah. I've said this for my, my little girl. You know, where we come from in Nigeria, oh, God bless our culture. Many things are wrong. They, they instill in us all sort of negative impression. If you tell a child here that a masquerade is coming, it makes no sense to the child. It makes no sense. But back home, even a two-year-old knows what could do is, the child will run. Hallelujah. People fear what they don't understand. Men that create phobia for us, there are, there are things we don't understand or we have no knowledge of. And so they try to bind them with chain. They broke it. Anytime you fear you, 
they hold you. Anytime the world is afraid of you, the next thing is to try to keep you down. When people are afraid of you or your result, they try to chain you down. We tend to fear what we can't control. It's very inherent in human beings. Once men sense that they may not be able to control you, they try to chain you down. Hallelujah. And they use all sorts of inventions to want to bring you down. Except by supernatural invention. A man in that kind of situation, nothing can help him. Every effort to push it up. And so if God does not help a man in this situation or dimension, he's going to, to die like that. Believe me honestly. I pray for you. Every matter that seems to defy logic, defy solution in your life, tonight let God give you rescue. In the mighty name of Jesus, every matter that has defied solution in your life, by the hand of the living God, let it be a turnaround. Let it be a turnaround. In the name of Jesus, there are people going through things. Five years, ten years, without any hope of turnaround. And except God stretches a hand of rescue, believe me, they will die in that matter. That will not be your case in Jesus' name. There are many people today, both men and women, who carry the aura of violence around them. They are angry inside. They've been through things and they are so angry. Many are carrying the hurt of 10, 15, 20 years. And it's affecting their life. They carry the aura of violence. This is what happened to this man. He was a violent man. And people could not help him. People began to run from him. Hallelujah. There are people today, young men, who live home in a very defiant manner. They live home aggressively and they go on the street to go and you know try to struggle on their own. And they mingle with all sort of people, you know, all sort of gangs, and, and they get initiated in all sort of all sort of addictions and all of that. And within one year, a boy that was doing well in school, his mind is messed up, completely messed up. You see that today on the street. Go to like a Dustin Market, go to the background of You see young men, young men, early, you know, in their early 20s, they're about they are messed up, they are looking so dirty and haggard. The enemy is messing up the mind of people. That's it, it's with us, it's the man. But the end leads death to destruction. I pray for somebody tonight. As many caught in addiction, there are many caught in addiction of anger, drugs, immorality, and all sorts of addiction. As many in that situation tonight, God will rescue you. God will rescue you in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything aside to destroy you, God will destroy that thing. I say, God will destroy that thing. In the name of Jesus. And so this man was there. He could not help himself. Everything wasn't going well. There are people that today, they become something else. They drink themselves to stupor. Hallelujah. They drink themselves to stupor. They mock men. They mock God. Things that we hold in esteem, spiritual things, they have no regard for it. They say whatever they like. And they think it's, it's great. They think it's good. Hallelujah. They are men of the tomb. There are people today, any sort they are violent at you, they begin to react negatively. They are men of the tomb. They might be wearing a three piece suit, but they are men of the tomb. There are many men of God that are going on the street. Hallelujah. It's a reflection of many people's life. There are people today, I saw a video a few days ago, and it broke my heart. I think in America, two men were driving, they were struggling, and one crossed. You know, should have just been going. He crossed him. You see, sometimes they want to make you prove a point, but it's foolishness. He crossed him and literally went to the door. The guy came with the gun and, sh you know, he shot him. The guy was on the floor. He still went to and he still shot him again. There are many men of God around the streets. The devil have messed up their mind. They think they are okay, but they are not. Everything is not all right. They carry the aura of violence. Any small argument, whether in the old or whether on the queue, they go violent. The demon is unleashed in them. I pray for you. Anything in your life that is not godly, for night there will be a separation. There will be a separation in the name of Jesus. And this is in degrees. Hallelujah. I'm sure this man had moments where he was conscious and he felt, oh God, he, you know, he, he wish he could just come out of the situation. He wish he could come out of the mess, but there was no way for him to come out. Bible says day and night was always crying and cutting himself with stone. It was in isolation, in a place of suicide. He, he had suicide ideation. He had suicide tendencies. He, you know, he couldn't just help himself. I mean, a man that is cutting himself with stone. He was not in suicide. Wanting to kill himself, wanting to destroy himself. But how do you do somebody to die? 
you will not destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus, that matter that seems overwhelming, God will rescue you tonight. God will bring you out tonight. In the name of Jesus, I have a good this for somebody. God will turn your story around. In the mighty name of Jesus, in fact, I pray for you. That matter will not kill you. That matter will not see your end, but you will see the end of that matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, in First Corinthians 10, 13, Bible says, "No temptation happens to you that, that is not as such sort as of happened to man, but that even God in that matter will make a way of rescue." Hallelujah. And I says it will make a way of escape. No temptation that you are going through that is not as common to man. But even in that temptation, God will not allow you to be tempted above that which you can bear. But even in that temptation, or even in that challenge, God will make a way of rescue for you. I'm praying for someone tonight. The Lord God will rescue you in the name of Jesus. For matters greater than you, God will rescue you. God will rescue you in the name of Jesus. Everything you are facing now will end up in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, every matter confronting you now, you will overcome it. You will overcome it. You will overcome it. In the name of Jesus, that sadness will end in glory. That pain you are going through will end in glory. In the name of Jesus, there are people beyond the nice clothes going through situations. There are people going through tough times, beloved. I was praying with a woman. Hallelujah about a month and a half ago or two, you know, somebody, my wife referred that to me, as I was praying for her, the Lord said to me, you know, she's nursing suicide. And I said, Madam, the Lord said that you are, are contemplating suicide. And you burst into this. I said, Madam, don't kill yourself. It does not change from being God. Please don't kill yourself. Hallelujah. There are people going through things. As a pastor, when you sit down, people, they tell you how for 15, 20 years, and you, you, you'll be shocked how people are going to be. They dress so nicely, they look so good, but there's so much hurt inside of them, deep down, they are going through it. They are going through situations, going through matters. That I said, God rescue them. They can never come out. Romans 8, 18 says, For I reckon that the suffering of this time is nothing to be compared with the later glory of God that will reveal in you. I pray for somebody here. That matter will end in testimony. In the name of Jesus, what you are going through now, we end in testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, your current pain shall end in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many shedding secret tears, something you can't even discuss with your friend, with your, with, with your pastor, or with, even with your spouse, as many going through matters in the secret, tonight God will wipe away your tears. In the name of Jesus, God will turn the story around. In the mighty name of Jesus, please hear me. Many people have been driven to all kinds of addictions, They've been drawn into webs of all sort of different vices without any hope of escape. But I've got a good news for you tonight. As many trapped in that situation, I, I'm here to tell somebody, as many trapped in that matter, God will rescue you. God will rescue you. In the mighty name of Jesus, like this man of Gadara, as many crying loud for help, as many who are even crying in their heart, that God, when will life be out of this? When will this other be over? Tonight, God will rescue you. God will rescue you. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says this man day and night is always crying loud, as many crying loud in their heart, as many crying heart, many are shedding tears. You may not see, but they are crying in the secret. As many in that matter, let God rescue you tonight. Let God rescue you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you please speak to the voice of God and cry this prayer loud and clear? Say, Oh God, arise, rescue me from problems assigned to destroy me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, rescue me from problems assigned to destroy me. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, arise, rescue me, oh God, rescue me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, from problems assigned to destroy me, oh Lord, my God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. Rescue me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Rescue me, oh God. Rescue me, oh God. Rescue me, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, where my strength has failed, help of God, rescue me. In the name of Jesus, where my strength has failed, help of God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. In the mighty name of Jesus, where my strength has failed, help of the living God, rescue me tonight, rescue me tonight. In the name of Jesus, help of the living God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There are people going through things, you know, that are so serious. There are people who have cried so much on their children. There seems to be no result or change. There are women or men that are crying over their spouses. 
They have tried everything possible, and nature is beginning to take its course. They are getting tired and exhausted. I want to pray that prayer again loud and clear. When your strength has healed, God can help you. The Bible says that the weakness of God is bigger than the strength of men. Open your mouth and cry to God Almighty. Say, where well, my strength has failed, help for God, rescue me in the name of Jesus. Over that child, help for God, rescue me. Over my career, help for God, rescue me. For starting my marriage, help for God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me in the name of Jesus. From that death, rescue for God, help for God, rescue me. Help for God, rescue me, rescue me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I like to rescue me in the name of Jesus. Where well, my strength has failed, help of the living God. Rescue me tonight. Rescue me tonight. Rescue me tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The man was there was stagnated. Continued to wait the way. He was there. Bible did not tell us how many years he was there for. But for all we know, he was there. And the destiny was wasting away. There was no hope of turn around. Hallelujah. He was there. There wasn't any hope of turn around. Every day and night trying cutting himself. I mean, imagine a man that has 6,000 demons. If you don't have fire inside of you, one demon self can, can mess you up. Left alone 6,000 demons. <laughs> Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. He was there. His destiny was wasting away. His life was being wasted. There was no result to show for. There are many people in matters that are going through. No result. Life is stagnated. And there is no hope of turn around. I have a good news for you. Tonight, my God will rescue you. My God will rescue you. In the name of Jesus. This man was there going through a very serious one. There were helps around, but he could not access help. They could hear him, but nobody could come to him. But one day, <laughs> just like it is for somebody tonight, one day, the master showed up in the place. Ooh. And your story turn around. I prophesy, somebody hearing me. Tonight your story will turn around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle wasting away your destiny. Somebody say loud amen to this one. Every battle wasting your productive years. Let that battle scatter by fire. Let that battle scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste your productive years. Every, every battle assigned to waste your prime. In my language, they call it Omar Fasikweli Shufu. This man was there for only God knows how long. He had ambitions, he had plans, he had things worked out. But for some reason, the enemy kept his destiny in isolation. I pray for you once again. Every power assigned to waste the productive years, let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus, somebody hearing me. Battle assigned to waste your prime. Let that battle scatter. Let it scatter. Let it scatter. In the name of Jesus, pray loud and clear. Say, Oh God, arise. Rescue me from power assigned to waste my life. In the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise. Rescue me, oh God. Rescue me, oh God, from battles that wants to waste my life. In the name of Jesus, Oh God. God arise, rescue me from battles and start to waste my productive years. In the name of Jesus, oh God arise, rescue me, oh God, rescue me, oh God, rescue me, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to pray that prayer again loud and clear. Imagine it, in my country, you will see some people, praise God, at 30, they are just gaining admission into university. There's something called jam in my country, in Nigeria. Praise God, it's like a the equivalent of A levels here or GC, no A levels actually. And so if you don't pass it as a criteria, you can't go to university. And you see full grown man, full grown man that should have been married raising children. They're still writing that exam to go to the university, only for them to go to the university. And there's a strike one year, nine months, eight months, sometimes hours are assigned to waste your productive years. So now they shall die. They shall die. Pray that prayer again loud and clear. Say, Oh God, arise, rescue me from battles assigned to waste my productive years. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, rescue me from battles. I stand to waste my productive years. In the name of Jesus, open up and pray that prayer very, very well. Oh God, arise, rescue me, oh God, rescue me, oh God, rescue me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, from battles that wants to waste my productive years, rescue me, oh God, deliver me, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
Say where the battles of life are stagnated me. Help of God, lift me up in the name of Jesus. Where the battles of life are stagnated me. Help of the Lord, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up in the name of Jesus. Where battles of life has kept me. Help of the living God, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up in the name of Jesus. Where the battles and challenges of life has kept me. Help of the living God, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There are people. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are people who the battle has stagnated them. Interestingly, if you discovered on time, it's the first step to your deliverance. But there are still people who do not have the consciousness that the enemy is wasting their time. Hallelujah. I've been there before. There are people that the part of their foundation knows they can't kill them, but they will so much waste their productive years before they realize they are 50, 48, 50. And they'll be wondering, where did these 48 years go? Once upon a time in my life, before I met the Lord, I wanted to be singing Fuji music. Imagine your pastor singing Fuji music. It wasn't me. There were powers manipulating my emotions. Another time, I wanted to be doing um, what's that thing? theater art. It is very bad when a man does not find purpose. It is very, very bad when a man does not find purpose. I want you to pray that prayer again loud and clear. There are battles that want to waste your productive years. That that battle should start. Hallelujah. Or where the battle has stagnated you. Let the help of God rescue you. I get him in a home to please pray that with every strength. You don't see, this thing has no respect for I live in the Western world. There are people who live here respectfully speaking. You meet them on the road. How long have you been here? Oh, 27 years. Nothing to show for, nothing. Nothing to really, really compliment those years. Can you please open and praise that loud and clear? Say, in the name of Jesus, where the battles of life has stagnated me, help of God, lift me up. In the name of Jesus, where the battle of life has stagnated me, help of God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. In the name of Jesus, where the battles of life has stagnated me, help of the living God, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, help of the helpless. Arise, rescue my destiny in the name of Jesus. Help of the helpless. Arise, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me, rescue me in the name of Jesus. Help of the helpless. Arise and help my destiny in the name of Jesus. Help of the helpless. Arise and help my destiny. Arise and help my destiny in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. See what happened to this man afterwards. The Bible says in verse. Um, 19, 18. How be it? Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at it. Our time is fasting. Praise the Lord. How be it? Jesus suffered him not, but he said unto him, Go home. Now, when this man was finally healed, because you see, when God healed this man, the men ran into this and go and heal him. They went to go and tell people, and they came out. And when they came, they saw the man sitting down. He was now healed and clothed. The Bible says, In his right frame of mind, they were scared and they told Christ, Please depart our coast. And so Christ was just going. Was getting into the boat, but this man wanted to be grateful. He said, Let me come with you, sir. The man, you know, the master said, No, 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 don't follow me. Go home. But he says, Go to thy friends. He didn't say, Go to thy family. Go to thy friends. Hallelujah. He said, Teaching on his own, I can't go there tonight. Go to thy friends, not to thy family. You see, a prophet has no honor in his own, now, in his own town. If he were to go to his family, they may not really appreciate it because it was the same men that were telling Christ the healer to leave their coast. He said, Go to thy friends. Tell them how great it is. The Lord had done for thee, and how he had had compassion on thee. Now, 20 says, and he departed. Look at that. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great thing Jesus has done for him. And all men did mouth. Look at that. Look at that. That man carried the calling of an evangelist upon his life. This guy carried the grace to be an itinerary preacher. How do I know? The Bible says, it says he began to, to publish Christ in Decapolis. A man that was healed, nah, 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 nah. and Christ told him to leave. And he began to publish Christ in the capital, not metropolis, would have been a capital city. But the capital is, it means a city of a conglomerate of cities, 10 cities, that we call it. Because Deca, you know, from Nonagon, Deca, it means 10. This guy carried the grace and the anointing to take the gospel to 10 cities. 
and the enemy kept him as a madman in the tomb. I pray for somebody, any power assigned to silence your glory, let that power be buried tonight. Let it be buried tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that wants you to die before your glory appears, let that power be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. This guy was actually destined to be an itinerary preacher going from city to city but the enemy kept him in the tomb as a madman i pray for somebody hearing me tonight every grace you carry that has not received the expression but the power in the name of jesus let that grace come alive let it come alive let it come alive in the mighty name of jesus as many whom the, the enemy has placed embargo upon your glory and your gifting tonight let that embargo be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus, open my and loud and clear. Say, every gifting in my life, receive expression. In the name of Jesus, every of my dormant gifting, receive expression. In the name of Jesus, every of my abilities, receive expression. In the name of Jesus, open my and pray that prayer very, very well. Everything inside of me, every grace I mention, receive expression. Receive expression. In the name of Jesus, in in Jesus mighty name we pray he carried the destiny of an evangelist but it was in the tomb there are many people who arrived in the United Kingdom but they have not showed up there are many people in metropolitan city like London but their life does not have anything to show for for being a commercial city I pray for somebody Makota and Akuli Bazundaya as many hearing me tonight that the enemy has killed every gifting and grace that I mentioned inside of you, but the power that raised Christ from the dead, let them receive life. Let them receive life. Let them receive life. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever the enemy has destroyed inside of you, tonight by the power of the living God, let them come alive. Let them come alive. In the name of Jesus, everything inside of you crying for expression. Tonight, let them receive expression. In the name of Jesus, every good thing you carry that has been stagnant in that hope, tonight, let them receive momentum. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray praise the lord hallelujah i'm going to stop them praise god praise god divine rescue divine rescue hallelujah hallelujah god bless you i want to sincerely appreciate everyone for taking out the time to connect with us tonight god bless you the lord honor you mighty name. in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah if you are just joining us for the very first time this is World and Life Vision and Ministries International. We welcome you and we sincerely appreciate you for taking out the time um, to join us tonight. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. This program runs every Friday. Hallelujah. And so we'd like you to join us next Friday again. Share the word and pray. The vision of this ministry is universal liberation through the power of the word of God. Praise God. And so it's an imperative for us in this ministry to share the word of God revelationally and swing into prayer because we understand that it's upon the strength of the word. Our prayers get power, praise God. And so we trust God to be blessed tonight, and we hope to see you again in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Very quick one, please, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly please subscribe and also follow us on all, on all our social media platforms. The Lord bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. If you're not on the platform yet, um, I, I believe there's a link being pasted now. You can click that link to, you know, have a password so that I can get you know, the real, real time information. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. So please, next week, we'd like to see you again by the special grace of God. If you live around the uh, Medway area, um, Rochester particularly, please do to join us on Sunday. Do it to join us on Sunday, Sunday service. Our service time is 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll be powerfully blessed in Jesus' name. Until I see you again, um, remain blessed in the mighty name. I pray that as you go into this, we the Lord go with you. Sadi Allah, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. As you go into this, when the Lord go with you, the Lord keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you are trusting God for. By special delivery this weekend, you are getting it in the name of Jesus. So shall we. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, 
goodness and mercy have followed us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Amen. I'll see you next week by God's grace. Until then, remain blessed. Shalom. Shalom.